now I guess we just wait. I love this this record. It's a bit of a silly record, but I like it. <laughs> so this is what the server is like. We do a lot of mob arena, a lot of building. Um, for those of you in the stream, are, are there anybody in the stream that hasn't been on the server? I see a few names. I think pretty much everybody has been on Autcraft. But for anybody that hasn't, or that checks this out later, I'm going to try and get it uploaded to YouTube. But So if you're checking this out on YouTube and you haven't been on the server, uh, this is what we have going on. We have peaceful world and a hard world, because some children like to play with the monsters, and some children like to play without the monsters, so they can go to that world. Um, all the worlds, all the everything that's on here, all run on the same server. So they're just separate worlds that are loaded in. This is the lobby world spawn. But then on this line over here... Uh, we have other worlds, which include the end, and the nether, and a resource world. The resource world we developed um, primarily because people were trying to dig underneath other people's bases, and, you know, like, you, you build your base, and you start to dig underneath and get all the resources and stuff, but all of a sudden you find yourself digging back up, and you're in somebody else's base. <laughs> uh, and we do protect people's regions, and we protect from bedrock to sky. Um, that's all the way from the very bottom to the very, very top. So you'll be digging along and all of a sudden you'll hit diamonds. But you can't mine the diamonds because they're in somebody's protected region. And that's really, really annoying. Um, also, it's just sheer numbers, right? Like we had uh, 1,142 active players in June. So that's a lot of players. So if the majority of them are all in like the peaceful world and they're all digging and mining and, and ripping up the planet. Um, that can really make a big mess <laughs> really, really quickly. So we created a resource world where they can do that as much as they want. They can get as much dirt and sand and rock and anything else that they want. Um, and then j come July 1st, it gets reset and then you can do it all over again. And that way the, the building worlds don't get all messed up. We found us the best way, right? Like, if people find a desert and they need tons and tons of sand to get, like, make glass and things like that, and then somebody else needs sand and they go there, well, it's already going to be wiped out, and that's not really very fair, especially if you join the server later. Like, the server's been up for two years now. If you joined in the last three months, can you imagine if everything was all in one world? Like, nobody would have any resources left. Which is also what happens in the nether, right? Like, the quartz and the glowstone and everything is gone pretty quick, so we reset that from time to time as well. Sorry, I have to keep taking little swigs of my ginger ale because my throat is getting a little sore. And the sun is finally coming up. Which means it'll be roughly 10 minutes until... Look at this. People just dropping diamonds everywhere. Uh, let's, uh, I have a notepad here where I can just do this. There. People keep playing that. More ranks? I don't know. I don't know. We just do ranks whenever everybody agrees somebody deserves a rank, and when that person is on, usually. Sometimes we do. We had somebody change somebody's. Oh, I, I wish I could talk. That's all I want for my birthday is to be able to talk. My birthday is in a year, so I have a long time to wait. Um. Yeah, uh, we do. We try to do ranks when the person's actually on, so that they can be aware that we changed their rank, and also, um, 
Wow, people are dropping all sorts of great stuff. I can't even see where that person is. Um, they could celebrate with their friends, right? Like all the other people will be on and congratulate them and and go and have a party or do whatever when they get a new rank. So that's what we try to do. So there's, there are certain conditions, right? Like we try to get enough people on, especially the person that's getting the rank, and it has to be agreed upon with all the senior helpers and admin and everybody all have to say, you know, this person should get a rank. And we go, yep, I agree. And everybody else says, yep, I agree. And then we all check and see if the person's on. If they are, then we sign on and they get a rank. So a lot of times when people are asking, are you doing any announcements today? Are you doing this or that? Are you changing any ranks today or whatever? When I say I don't know, I honestly do not know. I have no idea. You're on the TARDIS? Oh yeah, I see a few people up there. Um, you know, I don't say I don't know just, just to not give you an answer. Like, I really don't know. Like, sometimes we'll decide... Like, Cookie Crazy Dawn just got Junior Helper. We decided that... A lot of people have been saying she deserves it, but we decided it last night, and she wasn't on. Um, and then she was on this morning, and Lady Kath was on this morning as well, and she said, you know what, let's just get this done. And so she gave uh, Cookie Crazy Dawn the rank. Look at this. Um, gave her the, the rank of Junior Helper. I wasn't even awake yet. I woke up and said she said that uh, she had gotten it done. So that's pretty cool. There's been a lot of ranks I haven't even been on for. People, look, they, they see that I'm on. They see that I'm on the server, and so they sign on the server, and they come to me right away. So I'm like, are you doing announcements? Is anybody getting a new rank today? And that's not, not only not the way it works, but that's not a guarantee because I've missed some. <laughs> I wasn't on when Cookie Crazy Don became a junior helper. So it's not all on me. Don't think that just because I'm on that this is going to be happening today. Yeah, is she still on? Cookie Crazy Dawn? Oh gosh, that's a lot of names to look through. I don't think she is, though. I don't see her name. She was on earlier, though, for some of the fireworks. But she's in, like, Australia, right? So it's late there. <laughs> or early, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Can we have a wither fight? Um, probably. I'm, I would like to do one later today, but uh, not right now and not during the live stream. It is super, super hard to do uh, a wither fight during the live stream. If, if one of the other admins does it and I could just talk and wander around, then yes, I could do one during the live stream, but I can't do all the commands and watch all the players and, and watch other chat and, and answer people and do all that sort of stuff and live stream at the same time. I just not that coordinated. Sorry if you guys can hear my kids in the background. That's my kids playing Xbox. I have no idea what they're playing, but it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I wasn't on when you got buddy. See, that's what I mean. Like, I, there's a lot of times when I'm just I'm not on, and that's okay. I don't need to be on for every single every single rank change, right? Like, I'm not here for everything that happens, and that's part of the beauty of Otcraft is I don't have to be. Like, I started the server, but it's not me. This isn't all me. Like. We have lots of people doing all this stuff. <laughs> and that's part of the reason why my rank is admin and not owner, because I'm just another admin like everybody else. Going to a birthday party for an autistic kid that nobody came to his party for. Well, that's very kind of you. I hear about that happening a lot, actually. It's very kind of you to go to his birthday party. And honestly, if you miss out on a wither fight or something or whatever, that's really not missing out because you're you're where you need to be. Could you build an iron farm that killed iron golems and actually spawn to get iron? No, I just got a dark blue team at, at your, my 
I have so much stuff. When I came to spawn, I had this sword. And now I have all this. <laughs> Look at this. 40 diamonds, plus 6 that say Happy 4th of July, blocks of diamonds, iron, quartz, fireworks. Ugh. You know my real name? So do I! What a coincidence! I know my real name too! Iron Titan? What is an Iron Titan? I know what an Iron Golem is. Get some takeout for dinner? That sounds great! I would love some takeout for dinner. You have a PS4 to PS3. I know, I know, you said that on the server. You want a real fight, don't you? I just want a blue team! It's all in my base. Oh no, not the blue team! I just got white! Oh, the, um, the Iron Titan farm, right? Going AFK on the Outcraft server is dangerous, man. You need to have like double the inventory space because everybody fills it up so quick. Please shout me out, AF TP10. Can I have a shout out, Stacy McCoy? <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to do some more fireworks. Uh, we'll do some more fireworks later too, uh, but the ones that'll be on later won't be on live stream, I don't think. Can I have the diamond blocks in your inventory? Sorry, but no. Um, as you can hear, my kids in the back background, who promised me they would be quiet while I'm live streaming, and they're doing a wonderful job. Um, we're going to be doing some other things today, so I'll get back on to do some more live streams, but, um, or live streams. I'll be back on to do some more fireworks, but I won't be back on to do more live streams. And this is often what happens. People, like, I'll do a wither fight or something, and people say, are you going to record it? Are you going to record it? Everything I do, are you going to record it? Well, a lot of times the kids are in the background playing these games and stuff, and it just would not be a very good recording. See you later, Kim. Happy 4th of July. So a lot of times I just can't record because they're making so much noise in the background. And it'd be cute and fun and everybody would say it's okay, but it just it doesn't work really well. Especially like as the years go by because people go back and watch old videos. And then it just becomes annoying. It just becomes like what is with that terrible recording with so much noise in the background is what that ends up being. Why did I end up with Autism Father Sword with my name spelled wrong? But that's okay. I need to fly so people stop filling up my inventory. My inventory is just about full. What is the thing at the top that are like five pounds? I don't know what you're talking about. The top of what where? Would I ever want to go to one of the Minecons? I would love to go to Minecon, but I don't want to really like. I I want to go to Europe. I don't want to go to Europe for a Minecon. I want to go to Europe, like London or whatever. I want to go there to go there and see the place, not to go to a convention center. Um. So, 
if if Minecon was here in Canada or at least close in the like United States or something that I could get to, I would love to go to Minecon. I would love to go and see everybody and and meet other YouTubers and and Minecraft server owners and maybe even talk to you know uh, the Mojang guys or even do a uh, um, a seminar or a speech or something about autism in Minecraft and all the things that we've been doing and the things that people could do with the server. Uh, a lot of people want me to do that, and I would be happy to do that. I, I would love to do that sort of stuff, and especially just meeting people. That's what I would really love to do, just be meeting people, all the people. Everybody from this server, from other servers, people who just love the game, people who just want to talk about stuff, other, like, YouTubers, um, you know, people that I'm fans of, like Vintage Beef and Generic B and all these people who probably won't even go to Minecon because they don't play Minecraft anymore. Uh, Generic B, anyway. Um... Yeah, I would love to go to a Minecon. This has been Minecraft has been a big part of my life, especially in the last two years. Wow. Impressive. Yeah, I don't know. My Microsoft bought. Mojang, right? They own Mine Minecraft now, and they're changing it a lot behind the scenes. People aren't seeing it, but they have HoloLens now, making it 3D virtual, like on your table. They have it. They've recoded it from Java to C Sharp, so that on Windows 10, it'll be a whole other, not really a different version of it, but like an update that actually takes it from Java to C Sharp, and it'll run better. And it'll be a lot of new things added. So it's not dying. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but Microsoft is is located in the United States, right? So it stands to reason that there'll be more mine cons in the United States, closer to home. In which case, maybe I'll actually get to one. Maybe everybody else who's here for the 4th of July, making them mostly Americans... Um, we'll be able to get to more mine cons because they will be here. Or, you know, here as in, like, North America somewhere. Which would be really cool for those of us that are here and can't get across the ocean and into hotel rooms and pay for food that's in a whole other currency. Anyway, this is a really long answer, but <laughs> the short answer is yes, I would like to go to Minecon sometime. Oh yeah, if Minecon was in Toronto, I would be there for sure. I would I would sell a kidney to buy a ticket if I have to, and I would drive over there and, and go and see it for sure. I am the reason you got a Minecraft account. Really? Why would you get a Minecraft account because of me? Pika Miner, why why me? I thought, don't most people have a Minecraft account before they've ever heard of me? And then they hear of me, and then they ask to join a server. Why would you get a Minecraft account because of me? Can you buy old spawn? I don't think it's for sale. I bought fly for a day, and it won't work. Uh, really? Uh, I don't see... Fly for a day. Do you live near Toronto? I'm in Ontario, about an hour away. I am 850 kilometers north of Toronto, so it's about an eight hour drive. An eight hour drive for me to get to Toronto. But I am in Ontario, and I can do an eight hour drive, no problem. And I still have family and friends that live near Toronto, so I'd have a place to stay. I would definitely do that. I would be there for sure if there was one in Toronto. Um, let me check. Stacy McCoy? Yeah, eight hours north. I'm really far north. It's cold up here in the winter and very hot up here in the summer. Let me check recent purchases. Stacy McCoy, fly for a day. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're flying right in front of me. It it works. <laughs> cool. No, I'm not in none of it. I told you, I'm in Ontario. Actually, it's a very, very long ways north of here before you ever get out of Ontario. Ontario is a lot bigger than you think it is. Matter of fact, it would take 24 hours of driving west just to get to Manitoba. That's how that's how big Ontario is. It's massive, and people don't get it. They look at a map and they think, well, yeah, this, this far to this place, or this far to this place. No, no, no. Once you're up here, it is huge. 2 p.m. is still morning in the U.S.? Yeah, pretty much. Everybody's waking up at noon. Especially on a Saturday, because you're up late on a Friday. That's Cameron's version of staying quiet for the live stream. Yelling boom. <laughs> um, there's the moon. I think that means it's time for fireworks. Oh, I am tired. I keep typing in the wrong thing. Uh, let's do this one this time. Do you think there should be a Minecraft movie? I think there is going to be a Minecraft movie, isn't there? So now this is going off. These should be... Yep. So every time this is a shovel, it'll send off a firework. There it goes. It just fired a firework. Okay. Aha! Can admin please toggle the stream? <laughs> you saw yourself leave? Have a good lunch. Rain, not stream. Ah. Yeah, people throwing diamonds. Here, let's do... Very loud in my ears. I can't barely hear. USA, USA. USA. Why are you looking? They're they're up, up, up. They're up there. They're not, they're not at the, they're up there. Hello? <laughs> Somebody's, somebody has their own fireworks here at the same time. The Donster. So cool. Why does the Donster have fireworks? Why not? Everybody can have fireworks. It's the 4th of July. It's fireworks time. Well, you have to craft. Fi he crafted his own fireworks. I, I can't just give you fireworks. You have to make some. Look, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Red, white. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. That's the United States' colors. The United States, their our flag in Canada is red and white. In the United States, they have red, white, and blue. Yeah, because there's red and white, we celebrate for Canada as well. Here, let's do this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, red, white, and blue creeper. I did. I added some of those too. Because reasons. And then the big finale.
try and get some uh, screenshots. Oh yeah. I love fireworks. You have family in Canada? Oh, I wanted to get that creeper. I got that creeper. That was a good one. And it's all done, which means I'm all done for the stream anyway. I will be off the server for a little bit. Uh, we're going to go to the grocery store and have some lunch and just be a family for a little bit. But then I'll be back on and we'll do some more fireworks. Just like those. <laughs> the downstair still has more. That's so awesome. Um, so thank you for watching in, in the stream. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for following me. Thank you. And with that, I shall say, see you next time. Bye.